Hi, this is Alexis with the Kitewater Magazine. We're here at Surf Expo 2012. I'm here at the Air Rush booth with Clinton. Let's talk about these kites you got here. Yeah, so uh, exciting for this year. Uh, I guess the big thing for us is the new wave kite um, and also the new Aramid uh, load frame. So what we've done is developed a dedicated wave kite and on the platform of the wave kite we developed something called the Aramid load frame. What this does is it's a framework that attaches to the canopy that takes a lot of the load that traditionally would have been taken by the canopy. So this means you get a kite that's more durable without all the added weight that traditionally people might be putting into a wave kite. The same technology we put into our Razor, which is our high-end freestyle sea kite. So I think those are the real highlights in terms of what's new. Um, in terms of killer product, the thing for us is the lithium is in its fourth uh, rendition. So that's seen, again, a level of refinement and uh, just really keeping it as that go-to kite for, you know, like 80% of the kite population. Absolutely. That's uh, great for pretty much everybody who's coming from schools all the way to advanced free ride. Now what size kite did that come in? So that'll go all the way from a 5 up to a 14 in the 3 strut configuration and then we've combined the technology from our one kite and we've made a lithium 16 square meter single strut. So for those guys that like you need that little bit of oomph on those light wind days that 16 is magic. Yeah so the thing with the 16 is that because it's only got a single strut it's it's basically lighter than a 14 so it flies in very very little wind it's easy to keep it in the air it doesn't back stall it's got all the stability that you need. All right now let's talk about the other kite you've got in the range. So the other within our core kites I would say the other one would be the Varial X. You know, that, that's moving a bit more towards the hybrid C kite. It's still four line bridles. It's giving you a little bit more of a C kite direct feel. And uh, what you get there is something that unhooks well, something that does a little bit more freestyle orientation. Got and a bit more pop to it. It's got a little bit more pop to it. It sits a bit further forward in the window, kind of somewhere in between the lithium and the razor, which is a full on freestyle kite. Now, what size kites are that? So that, that'll come pretty much in the same sizes, but from a 6 up to a 14. Wow, yeah, so, that's awesome. Yeah. Anything else, any other kites you want to talk about? You know, looking at the specialty kites, we have the race kite. There will be a new race kite coming in uh, January next year, so we don't re really have much to discuss on that yet. No worries. And uh, that'll come as part of the racing collection towards the early next year. So, Clint, let's talk about the bar here. Yeah, so looking at the bar, what we've done is really evolved the smart bar again. What's exciting this year is it's a single bar that goes from 62 down to 45. So that's one bar that does it all. That uh, combines our adjustable technology, which if you have a look there, we've gone for a slightly bigger pin. That means you can drop the bar length and um, you can also use the bar end to um, drop the variation in adjustment size. From the inside, from the outside to the, the inside. inside and adjust the wow. length of the and bar. you notice that there's more than one spot that you can adjust it, so there's multiple adjustment points within the bar. Yeah, and that's also uh, quite a unique point in that you have a cover, so it's completely covered. It feels just like a normal bar with heaps of adjustability. So, um, yeah, further to that, I think the a lot of the thing is evolution on feedback from customers. We've gone for you know, the multiple line length um, adjustment which has been a key selling point for the control bar so you can drop your line from 24s all the way down incrementally to get the desired line length. We also have a stronger front line set this year as you know most of the weight of the, fly, of the kite runs through the load. And then the other thing is uh, we have a new single front line D power system now which is good for self landing and which is a requisite in many of the schools, prerequisite. Yeah. So it's easy, power, deep power right there. Power, deep power, sliding stopper, you know, very important functionality. Um, you know, the tubing yeah. for zero wear on the, and, and on the, the deep power. And the pull away system is as simple as can be. Yeah, pull away system is simple as can be. It retains the loop onto the bar. You can set this up as a semi-suicide, as a full release. Very, very nice. So, more information, where can they go? For more information, go to airrush.com. Well, thanks so much, Glenn. Cool. Thanks a lot.